Hey guys, my name is uh, Lord Toro here again with another Sonic the Hedgehog toy item collectible review. This is some interesting cellophane for a Christmas pro. Ah. Uh, Sonic. Enough of you. Let's get into the review as we do not want to deal with Sonic's little mischief here, shall we? This is an interesting review simply because of how I got it, where I got it, and more or less just the interesting factor behind it, to be honest. Well, I'm going to show you what the actual thing is, of course. This is a... I have a plastic bag. I'll take it out, of course. But just for heading purposes, I'm holding it like this. This is a Sonic Adventure key set from Japan review. Interesting little set here. I would, more or less... I will take them out, definitely. I just have them in the bag so I can uh, hold them all in one hit. This is definitely an interesting piece within itself. And funny enough, I do have some extras, which maybe down the track I would definitely give them away as more or less a competition. But until then, this is just more or less a review on this. On this, of course. Pretty much during the peak of the Dreamcast and the release of Sonic Adventure, they did obviously cross promotions. They did various things. They they made keychains, uh, figurines, posters, the works, just obviously to promote obviously the Dreamcast console system as well as the actual newly proprietary game Sonic Adventure, which to many re people regard as one of the best Sonic 3D games out there. Some also regard Sonic Adventure 2 to be one of the best 3D games out there. I'm pretty much on the broad line. It is good. Don't get me wrong. I just think you know other games deserve more credit. Anyway, so this was more or less released for Japan at the time. I think it was during the launch, more or less. Not necessarily the launch, but kind of coincided with the game's release. And it was more or less kind of a, a prize given out to people for a, I guess, token, if you can call it that, for um, the, the game place called Joypolis. 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 I'm going to say Joypolis. Joypolis. Basically, long story short, what people more or less did was they obviously try to um, grab the prizes, and if they grab the prizes, congratulations, you get yourself the set. Pretty much the deal with any you know prize says you know you want to catch the whole collection. That's how they get the money and whatnot. In the actual set, you get Big the Cat, Knuckles, a Chow, Amy Rose, Tails, and Sonic. So let's open up this set and a see of what we have here because you know that's what we do in the land of sonic there we go now i'm going to take this out one by one of course um simply because you know why not right so let's review them one by one and this is the first one now i started with all my reviews i'm just going to talk briefly about the packaging then before i get into the actual item because you know that's that's how I roll, people. That's how I roll. So every single packaging is exactly the same for every single one. They come on a blister case. Obviously, this is the blister case. And behind it is just the retroness of Sonic Adventure, the logo more or less for the first Sonic Adventure game. It's very hard to see, but I'm pretty sure you can make out of it. Wait, I have something here that could maybe reflect it. I'm going to review this later on, of course. This is the icon more or less that it appears. Guys, you're expecting a new review soon. <laughs> so let's put this aside for now. And um, that's more or less the actual backing. At the very top, you have Sonic Adventure Keychain Figurine. How cute and awesome is that? It was manufactured in 1997, thereabouts, when the release of the Dreamcast and the Sonic Adventure game was more or less out. And it was for these droplets sort of machine okay as to how you actually redeem this specifically i'm not entirely sure i do know that's where you more or less got them on the actual back you just have a bunch of a japanese addictor what are this on japanese if anybody can read that congratulations me on the other hand cannot read japanese for whatever reason what i do like about this is i'm not a big fan of this but I found this quite interesting that's how you had Sonic and just an orange background it kind of works but it doesn't I don't know not a big fan of that to be honest um, but yeah as far as the actual keychain goes it is a keychain because here's the chain obviously and it is obviously in its original packaging so I'm not even going to bother to take it out because you know why not but pretty much you can see the fine details on the actual base he's on you have the word big it's very reflective I know but make do with what you have and this is more or less man my computer is making some noises here and you have just big I especially like this from big I'm not a big fan of big to be honest I, I, I feel that he's kind of under, underdeveloped kind of as a 
hey, he's just another character in the universe. Congratulations. I would have preferred development in characters, even if it's just expanding on his stupidness, to be honest. I don't know. That's just my personal take. I know a lot of people don't like Big. They kind of find him obsolete, pretty redundant. But if you really, really want to think about it, what they're doing in the Sonic universe is quite interesting. I know I'm just talking, come on, my computer. Basically, okay, that was my computer. Anyway, I'm rendering stuff, people. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, pretty much, the way I see it is they're expanding upon a universe. I like the fact that they do it because in the real world, truth be told, we have what this, you know we have the, the, the what the, the preppy people, the, the the famous people, the rich people, the hard worker people, and you have the uh, intellectually challenged people, aka you know the idiots of you know our world. I like to think as big as unfortunately being one of those people, not necessarily an idiot, but just someone who lived a simple life and that's all he's ever enjoyed and that's all he, what he's ever wanted. I kind of like that. They've expanded upon a universe which is, at one stage, just purely Sonic. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people would tend to think, oh, let's just stick with Sonic and Sonic only. But look, how can you appreciate a character if you don't know generally what he's trying to say? If you think about it, if you really, really want to think about it like that. Like Sonic, yeah, he's, he's, he's a protagonist. He saves people. He, he fights, you know, he fights Dr. Eggman and various villains throughout the universe, both in the game and the comic. But you really got to think about it. It's just like, what? what is he saving? He's saving people who have simple dreams as well. I like that. You know, in Mario Universe, they don't really expand as much. If at all, they were probably expanding on the Luigi saga and, you know, Princess Peach. But Mario in itself, I personally think he hasn't developed, in, you know. He's just a plumber that saves a princess time and time again. Like, come on. Expand upon it. At least with the Sonic Universe, they expanded on it. Like, for example, Sonic Heroes, for instance. We all thought that Dr. Robonic initially was the bad guy, but it turned out it was Metal Sonic, you know? It's kind of like, whoa, big twist sort of thing. I like that, you know, for what it's worth, anyway. Enough about that, I just uh, carried on and babbled on. But yeah, you just have Son uh, Sonic. <laughs> yeah, Big the Cat, very cute, very well detailed, especially for February. You, hear, you have him holding, obviously, his fishing rod and a little dinghy. He's got his belt, and you have, it's hard to see, but you have his base, which says, obviously, Big. It doesn't say Big the Cat, it just says Big. On the back is pretty impressive within itself. I please, please, there. Oh, no, you can't really say. On this back, you just have his beautiful big tail. I like that, and you guys, little thing. It's really impressive attention. I would like <laughs> if I had another one to take it out, but you know, uh, I'd rather not. I like the piece the way it is. But pretty much, um, bottom line is it, it's extremely well detailed. So that's big. Man, did I carry on? Uh, I'll go to the next one. This is also probably my least favorite, but uh, you know, obviously part of the collection. The casing exactly the same, uh, Sonic Adventure keychain for green, background exactly the same, obviously it's a keychain because there is a key. And you have obviously what it is, a chow. And on his little display it simply says chow. Nothing more, nothing less. Me personally, I've never been a big fan of the whole chow thing. I, I, I wish they could have expanded more upon it, more or less storyline. I know they dabbled a bonnet in the Sonic comics, and I know they dabbled a bonnet here and there. They throw in, they throw it in. It's kind of like, a, oh, let's just throw these characters in. I just wish there was more to a chow than simply the seven chaos servers of the chaos and blah, blah, blah in Sonic Adventure 1. Now, I would have preferred, obviously, way more uh, to, to expand it, but, uh, you know, it's you know it's there, I suppose. It's like, after Ch um, Chaos was defeated, I, I figured, you know, what next? Do they evolve? Do they become humanoid creatures? Do they, you know, but they're just simpleton creatures. But, yeah, overall, the child is pretty homeless to the original. Pretty cute, very, you know, casual. Nothing too much. I do like the little wings, I suppose. If at all, this catches the essence of more or less, uh, what's a... Mm, Night of the Dream than anything else. But that's a child. Obviously my least favourite, but you know, it's there. It's there. Uh, who's my second... I wouldn't say this is my, you know, not favourite character, but obviously he's not my overall general favourite character. I have pre-ordered the exclusive First for Figures Tales version. Um, payment has cleared yesterday. So I should hopefully get that by next week. Once I get that, I'll definitely review the First for Figures for that. I'm so excited. I haven't even reviewed the Metal Sonic, let alone the... Uh, Supersonic, which I'm gonna have to do, gonna have to do. I have it in my box, but uh. so the packaging is exactly the same. Nothing too special, nothing too grand. Just same old, same old. And on the actual base itself, if I can get this right, it just says tails. Maybe if you can, yeah, that tails. 
So overall, if you're a Tales fan, congratulations, this piece is definitely adorable and cute within itself, right? It is modern Tales, of course, I'll just bring this in as well. You just have him in an interesting pose, which I quite like. You kind of have him, have him waving his killer eyes, his fringe. Very cute, very well. The, the, especially like the tails. The, um, I want to say diameters. The body size ratio is superb. Like, it really captures it, because obviously, you know, that's how he is and whatnot. So, once again, extremely adorable, extremely well detailed. I love that. I love the fact that he does. Now, the beautiful princess. Not really beautiful princess, but you could say maybe she's a star ish, love affair ish kind of thing. Um, same again, packaging exactly the same, nothing too crazy, nothing too obviously a thing. It is Amy on a base. It does say Amy. Please focus, please focus. It doesn't focus. This is what bothers me, I, I, I suppose. One of the things that I wouldn't say it annoys me, but bothers me, is I would have preferred that the name be more prominent. Like, for example, Amy, I don't know, be black and the background should be, you know, white or something. But you can see the writing is white and there is like a. It's like a teal blue of sorts. Uh, not a big fan. Some people like Amy Rose. Some people don't. What's my take on Amy Rose? <sighs> I don't know. To be honest, Amy is just Amy. I, I would have preferred. You know, Blaze is cool. I love Blaze. She's awesome. Um, Amy's just pretty. <laughs> I'm special. I love Sonic. You know, I know you do, but come on, you know be more alive I can generally see the fans views on the whole certain characters aren't developed and what's not but you gotta understand that the initial design of Sonic was designed for kids even now it's designed for kids and that was it's kind of like Power Rangers it's kind of like oh I like the old Power Rangers but I don't like the new Power Rangers because it's for kids well duh because you know what did you expect? You know, you got to appreciate the universe for what it is, not what you think it should give you. Obviously, if you want to create your own universe, create your own universe. But, you know, that, that's what fandom is with anything. You know, Zelda, Mario, you know, Gears of War, whatever. The fandom is based on the universe that somebody else creates, and that's your fan of it, which I am. Obviously, I would have preferred way more development. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, they have, they're pretty undeveloped and blah, blah, blah. Look, if you want a development of these characters and licensed and endorsed by Sega and Sonic Team themselves, read the Archie comics, I really, really encourage you to, because they've developed so much characters, admittedly certain characters like Big and Froggy weren't developed as much, but characters like Tails, Knuckles, uh, Amy Rose, and, and obviously other characters that they're throwing, they're, they're, especially Mighty and Vector, and those sort of characters from uh, Knuckles Chaotix, they developed those characters extremely more, especially in the... Uh, Sonic Universe, so, you know, if you want to develop in characters, and then you're going to have people say, well, you know, it's not the game, well, uh, yes, it is somewhat, you know, it's based off the game, licensed and supported and endorsed by the creators, so, why wouldn't you, you know, it's like, say, you know, I hate the book, but I love the movie, sort of thing, it's vice versa, you know, it's, it's one in the same. Anyway, that's besides me talking. So you have obviously Amy, and you have her cute little pose with her legs, you know, closed, and her little arms are very adorable, very cute. I love this, you know, one so perfect. Well sculpted, to be honest. For figure figurine's sake, it's extremely well sculpted. So that's that. Next is obviously the star of the show. It is exactly the same packaging, nothing too crazy, nothing too much. It is... Sonic a la hedgehog. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know why I'm putting a French fox in. I think that is exceptionally important. So Sonic the Hedgehog, once again you have his name Sonic on the base, which is black, him on his traditional pose, and just giving us the finger. Very traditional, very homeless. And you even have a little snake. You have all his spikes, and if I look closely, well what do you know? You won't be able to see it, but if you look closely at that, he doesn't actually have a spike for oh, wait, no, 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 he does. Does he? Does he? Hold on. I'm just checking. Yeah, you, he has a tail. I thought he didn't have a tail. I was about to call. I was about. I was about to call BS. But I was like, no, he has a tail. It's very hard to see. It's very hard to see on this cam. But there's a little tail there. It doesn't pop out. It kind of like slides off his leg. Always oh, spikes are there though. They're always easy. Extremely cute. Very adorable. Very well detailed. Obviously, he's the main star of the game. He had the bigger part in the Sonic Adventure series, which awesome. I do appreciate it. I do like that. And obviously, if you guys watch my other reviews, this is probably my favorite character besides Sonic. It is 
Knuckles, the Jamaican kick ass. No, he's actually not Jamaican. Apparently, uh, apparently, I say that apparently. Just hold on. Apparently, oh, gotta take this out. Hold on, hold on, guys. I'll be with you right about. Come on, come on, come on. Apparently, they say that his inspirational design was of that of a Jamaican. I, I can see it to be honest. Exceptionally well detailed. Love it. His hands are big. Like it. Look. He's like, I have big hands, I've been doing things that I shouldn't be doing, like, okay, we can only imagine what, Knuckles, you know, I was guarding the uh, Master Emerald, I can only see what you do, anyway, <laughs> we'll leave that to another day, so yeah, that's Knuckles, one of my favorite characters, you know, interesting pose, I do like that, very cute, I do like the first four figures pose, that is awesome, the only thing I find a bit off is the proportion between the hands to the other hands, the one giving us the thumbs. Well detailed, he's even got a little, t he's even got his tail, which rides up his hand, which is pretty nice, and he's got his obviously dregs. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the complete set, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the complete set, um, for whatever reason, I didn't make Dr. Eggman, um, obviously being the protagonist, not protagonist, the antagonist, that's the word, antagonist, um, obviously, I guess he didn't really mark it as well. You, know, you can't blame them, you know, people want what they people want, so you market what you want. Which is quite surprising, because I would have preferred them to make a first for figures, um, Dr. Eggman, either retro or modern. That would, that would be so, I'm pretty, there are fans of Dr. Eggman. I am a fan of the thing. Like, how many, f how many villains do you have out there? I know I'm blabbing on, there's a reason for this. How many, um, how many villains do you have there who get constantly defeated by, Pretty much a preppy guy with no knowledge and whatsoever, you know. Okay, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I'm putting this back in so I can show you all in one hit once again. Uh, come on. There we go. So yeah, how many villains constantly get beaten and constantly persevere to the very end? Even in the comic, expanded upon that and made him, car you know. Ooh move away fingers knuckles could have and expanded on the actual um you know the whole universe of that which i think is pretty awesome in a way i don't know what i'm on about oh, come on just there there we go there we go oh you can even see my chest there oh look at flex now um <laughs> so yeah how many uh villains out there that persevere to the very end and man it's hot and to the very end and to, to pretty much get what they want in life well in this case to get mobius um, pretty much, so where is it from? Japan, you can only get in Japan, obviously they pop here right now in the USA, eBay and all that sort of stuff. I do have three, I have an extra Amy, extra Knuckles and an extra Big. Uh, we'll be definitely giving those away because I already have doubles, no need to have you know, stack up, there's no point, I'll give those away eventually. Oh, get a bit of, get a bit of view, okay, get a bit of, okay, there we go. So, yeah, um, can you see it? There we go. There we go. So yeah, and in terms of price, I got the whole set for surprise, surprise for I think about one hundred and twenty dollars. You know, yeah, uh, yen it's like I don't know fifty thousand yen or something. I don't know. But I got into Japanese. Um, a friend of mine in Japan basically bought this set for me, which is impressive. I I thank her so 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 much. Thank you, uh, th thank you so much. Um, so hey, you're looking about one hundred and twenty. It is you know a safe dip, but yeah, interesting enough. When they do pop up in eBay, certain ones do come up, for example, a double of an Amy, for example, that I got, I think I got it for, by itself, $30, so, they come in various prices, I got this set, no need for anything else. It's definitely a nice catch, now, in terms of rarity, it really depends where you look and how you look and, and who you know and what you know, sort of thing. So, look, in terms of rarity, I'll probably give you this maybe 8 stars out of 10, you know, it really depends if, if you like figurines and if you like the Sonic Adventure series and whatnot, so it's definitely worth a catch, definitely worth its price in gold, in, price in gold? It's weight in gold, people. It's weight in gold. And, yeah. So, nice collection. Nice piece. Obviously, it's something something I wanted to collect for a while. It's nothing, something that I display. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. And, obviously, supporting me throughout, obviously, my reviews. I know some of them you might not like. Some, I don't even know if you like them or hate them. I'm just going to guess. But, if you like them, thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, keep, keep watching. I, I'm definitely going to make more videos as they come. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And, speed on.